We've wired hidden cameras all around the world in an effort to capture celebrity footage. Stuff you never thought you'd get to see. Until now. This is... Oh, what'd you step in? What is that? Starveillance? What if we told you this huge space was our New York City apartment? You'd say nobody that young could ever afford a place like that. And you'd be right. So we must actually be on the set of Friends. Honestly, dude, after 10 years, it's going to be sad to see them go. I know. Chandler, Phoebe, the ugly naked guy across the alley. Thought they'd always be there for me. They will be. In syndication. <sighs> syndication is never the same. It's not. Question. Um, what are you guys gonna do next? I gotta tell you, I got nothing. I'm, I need to start setting goals. You guys have goals? Um, yeah. Uh, I want to figure out why I married David Arquette. Oh, I it. mean, was he ever even that funny? Oh, oh he's no, kidding. absolutely Who is David? not. Again? Yeah, well, I need to lose about no oh, thirty pounds. What? No way. No, I'm talking about my season three weight when I had a little issue with the socially acceptable uh, prescription drugs. Oh, yes. right. I, I hope this isn't like the Seinfeld curse where we all end up washed up trying to relive the past and a bunch of failed sitcoms. Or even worse, some weird reality show hybrid. Oh, oh. No. reality? Oh, what? No. no. Guys, don't worry, it's gonna be great. Oh, come on. You're just saying that because you've got Joey all lined up. Look, just because I'm set for the next ten years doesn't mean you guys won't be okay, too. There's no Seinfeld curse here. You guys aren't like them because you've already proven yourself in films. I mean, who hasn't seen Marcy X? Or 3,000 Miles to Graceland? Or 3 to Tango? Well, champ, I haven't seen 3 to Tango. And I mean most of it! It doesn't matter! Those were all big studio releases. Oh, yeah? So was that baseball movie you did with a monkey. Matthew, I know we're all going through a lot right now, so I'm going to ignore your remarks about Ed, which was hilarious. Almost as hilarious as this new Joey script I just read. I mean, you should see it. It's hysterical. Oh, God. Jen, you've been quiet. What are you going to do? I just want to settle down with Brad. Oh. How's Brad doing, by the way? He's shooting this movie called Mr. and Mrs. Smith right now, uh -huh. and I've never seen him happier. Oh, wow. Oh, you are so lucky to be married to, you know, a successful actor who yeah. can dress. <laughs> right, I right? know, I know. I'm hoping we can spend a lot more time together when the show's over. I'd love to just pick up and run off somewhere together. Ooh, like but Africa. Brad hates to travel. Oh. Maybe it'll be good, because maybe the press will, like, lay off you guys for a little while. I know. I'm so tired of being on the cover of every magazine. Tell me about it. I just got an offer to be on the cover of Cat Fancy this month. Congratulations. Well, 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 well actually, it's a special supplement to Cat Fancy called Me Out and About. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, wh when will they let up? I, I mean, oh, come on, guys. This is just the beginning. Finally, you're not held down by the show anymore. You can do anything you want. I mean, isn't there something you've always wanted to do for 10 years, but you just couldn't? Isn't there something? Oh, shut up! Hey, oh, hey, not with Joe! I need your stupid moron! Hey, where are you guys going? To get down on our hands and knees and beg for another year. God, this was a terrible mistake. Oh, my Absolutely. God. You're yes, so right. yes. I will both in the Demi Moore has been single ever since she ended her 13-year marriage to Bruce Willis. Whom she's still good friends with. Well, of course, dude. Bruce is a real charmer. You can't say mad at a guy like that. Nah, he's like a best friend. I just want to have nachos with him. Since then, she hasn't done much acting. But in 2003, she returned to Hollywood eager to dive back into her film work. And the dating scene. And who's Demi rumored to be going out with? Uh, can you give me a hint? Okay, you want a hint? Yeah. You ready for this? Yes, I Okay, am. put your helmet on. Okay. Not me. Thanks again for dinner. No problem. I totally own this place. See, watch. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Sorry, dude. Yeah. This no. rocks. Yeah, I'm having a uh, great time. This is uh, not what I expected at all. Oh, yeah. You were afraid I was going to punk you. Pa punk I don't know what that is. Awesome. I'm totally digging this old chick thing. I'm not old. Kind of. Show me your stomach. I oh, eat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. I can make this work. Snap. I just realized you could totally help me research your role. Okay, what is it? Okay, I'm on this TV show called That 70s Show. I know, my kids love uh, your show. Yeah, it's totally set in like olden times. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you were actually like alive in the 70s. 
What was that like? I don't remember. Awesome. Dude, this is like such a thrill for me. I've seen like all your movies. Oh, really? That's sweet. Like, a, like what? My favorite one is Basic Instinct. Where you're in that white dress and you have your legs and you uncross. Okay, you know, that's not me. That's Sharon Stone. Get out of here. No, it is. Do you remember, like, Indecent Proposal? Robert Redford paid a million dollars to sleep with me. Oh, snap! That was, like, a lot of money back then. Man, I love those old movies. Hey, do you know Cary Grant? You know, I'm not that old. Yeah, because he's awesome. Say hello to Cary Grant for me. Show me your stomach. Okay, take a look. Ha-ha, yeah! Over here. Look, it's the paparazzi! Oh, quick, stick your tongue down my throat. Bruce, what are you doing here? I was just having dinner. I saw these photographers, and I was wondering why they weren't taking pictures of me. A little young, isn't he, kitten? You're giving me crap? Okay, Bruce, how many proms have you been to this year? Son, is she buying you beer? What you talking about, Mr. Willis? <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to say that. Yeah, well, yeah, I get that a lot, High kid. five! Big fan! Sure, you know... Hey, would you take me to Nakatomi Plaza? Take you... Oh, you're talking about my movie. yippee ki -yay, mother... Oh, paparazzi, paparazzi. Quick, someone get on top of me, stat. Yeah, I gotta go. My date's breaking curfew. Hey, leave us alone. Can we just have a moment to ourselves, live our lives? I'm wearing Marc Jacobs. Watch Punk, Fridays at 11. Ferragamo shoes. Oh, but leave us alone. <laughs> God, I hate paparazzi. Oh, me too. Hey, can you keep a secret? No. Me too. I call the paparazzi. <gasps> me too. What? I think this could be the start of a beautiful Hollywood relationship. I know. Let's get out of here right now. You find the valet and get the car. I need to use the little girl's room. Awesome. Number one or number two? Hey, hey. Yeah. Let me see your stomach again. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally extreme. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Co-stars on The Simple Life and longtime best friends. No doubt because they share many of the same interests. Clubbing, yep. putting out albums, mm -hmm. breaking off engagements. And their true passion, being blonde and skinny. And someone famous' daughter. Yep, both of them. They're lucky. Yeah, they're, they're lucky. lucky bitches. So maybe I'll see you guys at the party. Awesome. Sounds good. Bye, sexy. Bye. I'm totally gonna have sex with him. Whatever. Ew. What crawled in your Ugg boots and died? You did. I'm, like, still mad about what you said. Get over it, Nicole. No! What I said was without greenhouse gases, the earth would be too cold. Life couldn't sustain itself or something. Yeah, I know, bitch, but, like, the problem is humans are, like, thickening our protective blanket in the atmosphere by producing a lot of greenhouse gases by, like, burning fossil fuels. Whatever, your dog is fat. And as a result, slut, Ugh. more heat is trapped. Now you're gonna be like a skank and say you agree with Stephen Hawking's theory on the chemical composition of the best human atmosphere or whatever? Yeah, I do, fat ass. And the Earth is gonna end up like Venus, like hot, like green sulfuric hot acid or whatever? Yeah, that's like what I said. Ugh. You need to get an ear candling done so you can f***ing hear me. I like that idea. But let's just like colonize in the moon or whatever and ensure the continuation of the human race. Oh, go make a sex tape. <laughs> Bitch, that sex tape was a viral media experiment designed to test the percolation rate of illicit materials through digital networks or something. Your ass has viral media. Well, that's coming from someone who is a whore. And doesn't even understand the Copenhagen interpretation. Oh, please. So God, even Einstein rejected its inherent probabilistic nature in his famous God does not play dice maxim. You slut! Whatever. Your dog is ugly. Bitch! You know what? I don't even want to do the next simple life with you. But lucky for your ugly ass, I don't know how else we'll study the detrimental effects of reality TV on our society. We can have separate fail experiments. I like that idea. Fine. Well. I'll like study in one place, and you can like study in the slut marsh. Get out. I'm done with you. I hate you. Well, I'm going to do you a big favor and not tell anyone why we fought. Otherwise, they'd realize how flawed your arguments were. You stupid slut. Oh, and give me a call when you stop sleeping around trying to prove Hickam's dictum, you whore! We'll be right back with Star Valence. Oh, yes! Okay, you win! Yes, Point taken, yes. gotta say this. This is this. Oh,
Oprah Winfrey sure has come a long way since her color purple days. Back when she was sweet, powerless, and uh, round. <laughs> the daytime queen, currently in the middle of her cross-country crashing tour, has the highest-rated talk show of all time, more money than God, and is considered one of the most powerful women in the universe. She can do no wrong. Oh, yeah? What about giving Dr. Phil his own show? Uh, I mean, we all have flaws. You mean like your third nipple? I don't consider that a flaw. for the mother of the bride. This is such a special day for both of you. For today, no one in the world means more to me than... Hello! Oprah Winfrey? Yes, it's me. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Oprah, what are you doing here? I'm here making your special day ten times more special with my very present! This is so crazy. Yeah. Why us? I've been touring the country in my Oprah mobile, crashing weddings like this one. The Indian wedding across the street wouldn't let me in without taking off my Manolos. So you'll have to do... Oh, my God! Okay, everyone. Woo! Settle down. Yeah. This day is more than just about me. It's about me celebrating these two wonderful people behind me, Trent and Julie. It's Jennifer, actually. Right. right. You know, marriage is a beautiful gift that we give to each other. It is a way of striving for perfection as a couple. Hey, why aren't you married? Oh, please. Give that nitwit half of mama's fortune for riding my coattails for 20 years? Hell no. Woo! But I guess marriage is for some people. So, here's to you. Bill and Stephanie, yeah, it's, may um... your marriage last until it is well into syndication. <laughs> and may oh, I... Uh, thanks, Oprah, but Trent had a special toast prepared. Yeah, kind of did. Oh, okay, of course. I'm sure it will be wonderful. Okay, um, you know, uh, when I met Jennifer... Do you we were... like my dress? Woo this is an exclusive Ellie Saab that I wore especially for this wedding. You can see me in this dress and 100 more in my new book, Empowering Yourself Through Taffeta. Woo! I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thanks, Oprah. Um, well, uh, well, well when I first met Jennifer, uh, I, I was... just can't contain myself anymore. This is Oprah Winfrey, people. Oprah Winfrey. Mom, this is Trent's moment. Don't ruin this for us. Honey, do you want an ordinary Oprah-less wedding? No, but... Good. No, yeah. Now, let's just be grateful that we're so blessed to have this god among women standing before us today. Please, Oprah, go ahead. Thank you. To show you just how I'm much the it. two of you mean to me, I have brought a gift for you. Bring it down! I didn't want to tell you what it was, but I'm just too excited. I'm too excited! It's a full set of fine china from Fabergé! And it gets better. I'm giving away a set to everyone in this room! You get the china, and you get the china, and you get the china. It's outside right now by the Oprah Mobile. Follow me, people! That was something. Yeah, uh -huh. really something. Wow. Really. Hey, it'll be okay, honey. It's all right. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm gonna go check out the Oprah mobile. Finally, Terry Hatcher's Philosophies on Life, in book form. Give me that. Hey, Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan helped propel each other to the top of Hollywood when they starred in When Harry Met Sally in 1989. After that, all of America was in love with Meg Ryan. And learned to tolerate Billy Crystal. Oh, come on, forget Paris was a classic. Billy? Hello? You don't remember me, do you? Of course I do. You were in the audience at my Broadway show, 700 Sundays, last month. Sure, sure, sure. No, no, it's me, Meg Ryan. Uh, we used to do movies together. Mm, Meg, 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 Meg. Yeah, Meg Ryan. Y you almost had me. That was very good. You celebrity impersonators get better all the time. Very nice. Well, here's a dollar, and uh, I'll see you down there on the boulevard. Keep at it. No, 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 keep your dollar. Billy, it's me. I'm not lying. No, come on, look at you. You're, you're not Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan is cute, you know, perky. Let me put it to you this way. For Meg Ryan, 
you don't look marvelous. Okay, I admit it. I've had a little work done. <laughs> a little work done? Lady, you've had major renovations with overtime. Shazam! Oh, <laughs> come on. It's not like you look the same after 20 years. Well, you see, that's what happens when you get old. You get a little fatter, you get a little balder. You're not supposed to turn into something from Madame Tussauds. Kazing! Okay, fine. I'll, I'll prove it to you. What do you want to know? Anything. Okay, okay. Um, I know. If you're really Meg Ryan, then name her last hit movie. Uh, um... Ha! That's a trick question, because no one can. Shapoopy! Wait, wait! Kate and Leopold! Ha! Ha! Kate and Leopold. You know that movie? Not so marvelous. Yeah, okay, I got a limited number of catchphrases here. Work with me. Fine! If you don't believe me, I'll find another way to prove it to you. Hit me with your best shot. Ask me anything. Go ahead! Bring it on! Okay... So how's it going? Oh, well, I'm trying to do a little more serious acting now. I did this movie called In the Cut. Yeah, never heard of it. Yeah, it was kind of an indie. I got a lot of publicity for being naked in it. Oh, of course. I forgot that Meg Ryan now does obscure films where she gets naked. Seems exactly like something America's sweetheart would do, don't you think? God! What do I need to do to prove it to you? I'll tell you what. I'll do the orgasm scene from when Harry met Sally. Please don't. Oh, yes. Okay, I think that's enough. Oh, okay. oh God. Not listening, oh. not listening. Ooh. Okay, yes, you win. Yes, Point taken. Yes. Gotta say, this Ooh. this isn't as sexy as last Ooh. time. Ooh, okay. almost, what I'm you? almost halfway D there. Halfway? Oh. Oi, Gavolt. Yes, hello. Uh, I'd like to report an emergency. A, a woman right in front of me is having a conniption. I, I think her face is falling off or something. Ooh, right there. Ma'am? Right Ma'am, don't worry! Help is on the way! Thank you. Try the meal. Man, my signature scene totally backfired. Oh, they can all be winners. There she is. Right here, boys. Oh, my God, it's worse than we thought. Get an ambulance in here, stat! This poor, crazy woman has been through some kind of serious trauma. She's completely delusional. I am not delusional! Ma'am, you've suffered a serious injury, but you'll be okay. I think. I'm taking you to the hospital. Whoa! Hey, Meg Ryan? Is that you? Tom Hanks! Oh, hey! See? He recognizes me. Oh, hi, Tom. Do, do I know you? Oh, come on, Tom. It's me, Billy Crystal. Oh, Billy Crystal. <laughs> ah, come on. Hey, Meg, let's go get a coffee. Tom, I would love to have coffee with you. I really want to talk to you about Sleepless in Seattle, too. Let's Her boy. We'll be right back with a little bit more star balance for you. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Gotcha. We're doing trust falls. You want to know why? Because we're great friends. Just like Heather Locklear and Denise Richards. Heather recently ended her marriage to Bon Jovi guitarist Richie Sambora. And Denise ended hers to Emilio Estevez's brother Charlie Sheen. Being newly single, Heather and Denise need each other now more than ever. Hey, dude, you want to do more trust falls? I, I think we touched each other enough for one day, right? You sure? Yeah. Denise! Oh, hey! Hi! Yeah, it's so great to what see you! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, good to see you! Hey, is, is, is that the top I gave you? It looks great! It really does. Well, I should get going. Oh, by the way, I'm still good to babysit on Friday if you need me. You I... sure you don't mind? Oh, no, 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 I'd love to. It gives me something to do these days since Richie and I are on the outs. Yeah, oh, uh, well... Hmm. Time heals all wounds. Uh -huh. So you should be totally fine by now. Well, I'm just happy you're dating again instead of running back to that old Charlie. Yeah, dating. Nothing serious, no matter what you may hear. Oh, by the way, I, I found a great guy for you. Do you like musicians? No. No, God, no, no. Oh, I'd never okay, date a musician. Okay. I mean, oh my God, they're usually dirty and don't shower. I'd never date a musician ever. Hey, I didn't know you use active sport body spray. Um, I do. Really? Neil Patrick Harris got me addicted to the stuff when we shot Starship Troopers. Oh. Well, <laughs> see ya. And wait a second. Men's shaving gel? Malt liquor? Blueberry toaster strudels. I've only known one person in the world who eats these. Well, now you know, too, because they're my favorite. Oh, really? What do you love about them? That they come with sprinkle packets? That's just one of the things I love about blueberry stru... Toaster blue... Those things. Aha! Gotcha! There are no sprinkle packets. These strudels come pre-sprinkled. You're shopping for Richie, aren't you? Aren't you? Okay, okay! I can't take it anymore, all this constant badgering. I admit it. But it's no 
what you think. He emailed me from his European tour and asked if I would send him some things he can't get there. Oh. I'm sure he would have asked you, but, well, oh. you know? Oh. Oh, that makes total sense. Oh. Sorry, you know, I can't believe I thought you were dating Richie. Please. I'd have to be a real heartless bitch to do that to you. Oh, God, you would never do that to me. It's a trick to crazy town, I tell you. It's so nuts. What's this? Heartless bitch Denise Richards is dating Heather Locklear's ex. Oh. Heather doesn't know yet? Crap. You want to explain this one? Huh? Okay, here it is. We're madly in love and we'll probably get married soon. <gasps> and I know what you're thinking and the answer is yes. It does feel great to finally get it off my chest. Why, you... Would you... Uh, oh, oh, my oh, oh, now. Denise, uh, how could you? I would never do something like that to you. You're a liar, Heather. You made out with Charlie lots of times. Oh, come on. Those were characters we were playing on Spin City, you idiot. I told you, I don't buy that story. And I've always been good to you. Your first day on Melrose Place, I showed you all around that set. Like I needed you for that. It's just a pool and a building. Listen, you want to play the sweet bad girl instead of a moron for a change, you go right ahead. But I'm really old, and I've been playing it since before you were born, honey. And I'll be playing it long after you're dead. Maybe by then you'll have broken into film. I do television by choice. Not even Scott does television by choice we call Richie yeah. next time on star back off bitch <laughs> most fantastic politician dominator <laughs> Okay, close your eyes. I told you it was all clear. Let me help you with those bones. Oh, thanks. It's the elephant, man. He's great to spoon with.